guessed it. Korea. Korea in December 1950. Looks cold, don't it? Colder than the heart of a commie. Well, maybe that's exaggerating. It's only 17 below. Here I go grousing again. Grousing, beefing, griping. Well, why not? We know our rights. We're the United States Marines. Wish I knew why we're hanging around here, why we aren't pushing on. We finished taking that Doc Gun reservoir up there yesterday. They call it Choice Sin or Choice Sand or something like that. lead pipe cinch. It never is when the enemy is dug in on top and you're moving up from the bottom. Moving? In this temperature? <clears throat> you just put one frozen foot in front of the other. You hope and you pray your heart don't bust wide open from pounding. <coughs> or a sniper don't hit you where it counts. And you keep on going. Up, up, up. Show us a hill or a mountain in this country and we've either been there or going there. War would be a pleasure if they'd only fight it on the level. <laughs> Big joke. Try and get those reds to do anything on the level. I must be getting lightheaded, the altitude, I guess. So those are the goofs that have been sending down their highest regards. We'd love nothing better than to tattoo their hides, but we don't fight that kind of war. We bring them back alive. Those grinning gophers know it. We even take care of their wounded. Let's get back to camp. Thank goodness I'm still perpendicular. There are a couple of our guys who aren't and never will be. yesterday, and we're still here in Breezy Acres, Deep Freeze County, Korea. Come on, come on, let's push. At least it'll keep the circulation going. Wait a minute. Maybe we're getting the word right now. Yep, we're pushing on. At last. But what's the gag? We're heading in the wrong direction. A couple of days ago we came up this way. There must be some mistake. Somebody back there must have goofed off. 
Nobody goofed off, Sarge. You see that map? If you'll keep your well-known lip buttoned up, I'll tell you what the deal is. You see that dark area? Well, that's where you are. You and the rest of the 1st Marine Division. And I don't have to tell you how you got there. I know if I told you that you're a bunch of tough cookies and we're proud of you, but, well, it might upset your digestion. So I'll skip the bouquets and give you the dope straight. You're all in a trap. About 20,000 of you. Yeah, cut off. We've been too busy kicking the stuffings out of these red Koreans. So evidently, you haven't been reading the paper. You're not just fighting Korean commies. But they're pals, Chinese commies. A few hundred thousand of them. Sure, that's a dirty low-down trick. Sure, that's hitting below the belt. But save your breath, Sarge. I told you, they're commies. Just keep on punching your way south to Hung Nam. There's help on the way. So how do you care for them, potatoes? Chinese commies. How about them? Getting slugged by a Sunday punch. Why, those... Now we gotta keep punching our way south, back to Hung Nam. Take every one of those mountains again, one by one. Oh, sure, we know the way, all right. No need any road maps. Know every rock and ridge and ravine in every one of them ruddy mountains. And what was that he said? There's help on the way. Navy and Marine planes. The more, the merrier. Tommy's digging their way back to China while you fellas keep fighting your way to the sea. Fighting our way to the sea. Morale talk. Drown us all in the ocean? Who's he kidding? Yeah, morale talk. Why don't they level with us and tell us the truth? What gives now? Stop it again. Oh, taking a gander at that mountain ridge. Snipers. Snipers, snipers, snipers. All the time, snipers. We knock off five and ten, take their place. Uh, we've been through this routine before. More planes. Maybe if we're lucky, we can sit this one out. Let them have it! Fire treatment, great. Thanks, buddy. Come on, let's move on. 